Welcome, replay viewers. This is day 16 of my 21 day challenge to myself to Periscope every weekday. So that I'm getting in the habit, and I'm so glad I did it because I am loving hopping on here every weekday. Hello, Helen. Hello to everyone who's coming in. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Dana. So. I mentioned yesterday when people who were live on my scope were like, hey, have you, what do you think of the new shop design? Because the email had come through um, shortly before I got on Periscope, but I hadn't even checked my email, so I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. So, of course, I got off and um, checked it out right away and spent quite a bit of time yesterday looking at it. I'm going to flip around now. Welcome. Uh, I'm Melissa from Makerspace.com, in case you're new, and I like to educate and equip Etsy sellers in the more left-brained aspects of running their business. And um, I am going to talk, my hair's doing weird stuff. This is one thing I love about Periscope, though. It's so casual. I can just, like, come on with wet hair and nobody cares, because you all are like, hey, I'm still in my pajamas, right? <laughs> um, so, anyway, uh if you probably knew that I'd come on. Happy Wednesday, Patrice, and talk about this new design. So I just want to, today I'm going to give you some of my just initial thoughts and observations. I just played around with it myself. I read what Etsy had sent out, and then I played around with it myself. I have not gone into the forums because I want to wait until I get a feel for it, and then I can have a filter as far as what people are panicking about in the Etsy forums and how, what's truth and fiction and not even worry about the stuff that's fiction. But um, then I'll get an idea of what people are concerned about and then I can maybe address some of those more specific things tomorrow. And then, uh, whoops, I didn't turn off my volume for my notifications. Then I can um, Friday take some questions if you have them, um, anything that I didn't address today or tomorrow. So I apologize if my notifications come through. I forgot to mute my phone and I think if I do it now it might mute my volume of what I'm saying so I'm not gonna mess with it these are some of my initial thoughts on it and um, I'd love it if you chime in if you have any thoughts too uh, the first thing that stands out to me is that we now have the option to add our own cover photo instead of it just being the standard really really short skinny Etsy banner that has to look the same for everyone. Um, it was really hard to design anything unique with that size of a banner before and because it's just so squished. And the cover photo is way bigger and is giving us a lot more opportunity for branding. So you have three choices there. You can either use your existing banner, although when you go to preview your shop in this new design, there will be no banner. That's like the default. So you can either re-add your banner back in you can upload a cover photo that you design or you can leave it off and have nothing up there and then it will just show at the very top it will have your shop icon and it will have your name and um, your feedback stars there's a few other little things there at the top now I've read that some people are liking that more because then you don't have to scroll down as far to get to your listings um, and so people are choosing to leave off any sort of banner or cover image. I personally think that's a big mistake because we have so little opportunity for branding on Etsy for our shops that if you leave that off completely and just have your shop icon, I just think it looks super generic. So I would not recommend doing it that way. If someone's clicked through to your shop and doesn't see your listings yet and just sees your cover photo or a banner at the top, they're probably going to scroll down because they're there to shop. So I'm not worried about someone clicking through to my shop and going, oh, there's nothing here to buy. Um, I don't really think anyone's going to think that. So that's just what I think initially. We'll see how that pans out. But um, for the cover photo, Etsy gives guidelines as far as the size, like the minimum it has to be, and then they say what the optimal size is. I will tell you this. I have been playing around with that and I disagree with what they say is the optimal size and the reason I disagree is because what happens on mobile with it and I am going to be creating a little um, video screencast to show um, what I think is the optimal sizing and a couple couple different options you can do to take care of the issues that I saw on mobile and that is, I'm going to create that as my opt-in for my mailing list. So if you are already on my Makery Space 
email list, then when that's finished, I will link you to that in the email, whatever email comes after that. If you are not on my list, then be sure to sign up at makerspace.com and then you will get that. Um, so I'm going to try to have it done in the next week so that if you're working on your shop to get it ready for April 5th, you have that. But I would recommend that you not get too excited about creating that cover photo quite yet because if you do it in their dimensions, there's going to be some issues in mobile view. Okay, It's mobile responsive, but parts get covered up by your shop icon. So that's just something to consider. Couple other things, uh, the rearrange. I love the fact that they've changed it so when you rearrange your items in your shop, that sticks, it's going to stick, I think it actually is gonna start sticking now. Pretty much all the changes you make right now, if you edit in your new shop view, are going to take hold in your current shop uh, except for the cover photo. That will not show up. It'll just be your banner. But if you, any changes you make in your policies with their new formatting, and I believe the new rearrange thing, um, and changing your sh uh, logo, different things like that, they will start showing up in your shop. So now in rearrange, you put all your items, you know how you put all your items the way you like it on desktop? And then as soon as someone buys something, then that most recent sale goes to the top and then you have to rearrange all over again. And in the app, your rearrange never matters because the most current or renewed listings always go to the top. Not anymore. Wherever you've placed it in the rearrange is where it will go back to. So if you have 10 available of a certain listing and it sells, it's not gonna go back up to the top. It's gonna go back to where it was before it sold. And that's also true in the app. So that is very, very cool. Also, they've, and maybe someone can chime in with this. They said you can rearrange in the app now. I, my Etsy app, sell on Etsy app was updated and I even powered my phone off and started it back up. I do not see the ability to do that yet. So I'm hoping it's not just iOS. So if you're on iOS or on any phone and you've been able to do that in the app since yesterday, let me know because I'm really curious. They either um, haven't fully rolled it out or they spoke prematurely and it's not going to be available, the rearrange ability in the app until the changes take place publicly. So I'm not positive about that, but that's really cool. So new listings, brand new created listings will always go to the top. And then if you want to put them in a certain position in your shop, you will have to manually rearrange. But rearranging you've already done will stick after sales. So that is great news. It's really great for people who, there's some people who like to do collections. And so they'll have like, hey, Gianna, for a cross of uh, all items in a collection. And so they all coordinate and then they'll have four across or maybe they'll make their collections go down. And so they're having to rearrange their collections constantly. And then in the app, it doesn't even look like collection. So that's going to be different. Another thing is, um, your featured listings, which used to be under your banner and then just right above and, and under your shop announcement, but right above your regular listings, featured listings are now above your shop announcement. So there's your cover image and then just a little bit of info like your shop icon and your name and feedback count. And then featured listings are four across and then your shop announcement and then your regular listings. And now regular listings have larger thumbnails and they're three across. Um, and then your sections are still on the side of those. Sections, we now get 15 sections in the new uh, shop design. So not limited to 10 anymore, which is really gonna help a lot of people who were smushing some things together into sections that didn't necessarily they didn't necessarily want together, but they had no choice because they were limited to 10. So that is a really good thing too. Um, you can edit everything from your main shop page now, so you don't have to go into a bunch of different spots in your settings to do editing. One thing I will say is um, it's kind of like a continuous feed now. So in the new shop design, you keep scrolling down and you get like, you've got your shop announcements, you've got your listings, you've got your about page and policies. It's all just this continuous scroll rather than clicking through links in a sidebar to get to those different parts of your shop. And so it's gonna be important to not have things too full and cluttered. 
I think. So, um, for example, policies. Right now, policies have just been however we want to write them. You know, we're just given this big amount of space and we can just write them however we want. They actually have like a new system for creating your policies where they have some prompts. And I looked at a, an example of a shop that had already done that. And it's a lot cleaner, the policy section, when it's finished if you use that system. Also, they're making it clear that our shop policies are impacting where we show up in search. So I'm not, I haven't delved into exactly what does that mean, um, but they are saying that very clearly in this new shop design thing. So super important to make sure those policies are in place. We talked about policies a little bit yesterday. So I'm going to, I have not gone through with my shop yet and experimented with the, the new formatting of policies, but I think it's going to be important to use it because those really long paragraph full page policies are going to take up a lot of room if a buyer is in your shop and scrolling down to look at different parts of it. Um, okay, I think those were the main things that I wanted to talk about. That um, And I would really encourage you to start playing around with editing your shop um, because then you won't have to worry about when April 5th comes and everybody sees the new format if you have some things not done. Especially the cover image, if you, um, once I once I put that video out about the dimensions and stuff, if you start playing around with it, um, nobody's going to see it if it's, if it's not what you want. You could even do like a fake cover photo with the dimensions and just see how it looks and then go back and refine it and have it ready for April 5th. But I would encourage you to whittle away at those other parts, like the policies and that kind of thing. Um, brainstorm what you want your sections to be. I don't know. Sections are another thing. I'm not sure if that takes hold yet. I don't, I don't think 15 will show up yet, but you can at least list out how you want to separate out your sections if you have things, some things crammed together into the 10 and you want to make um, more sections and spread your things out a little bit more. Okay, those are my first thoughts. Does anyone else have some thoughts? Did you get a chance to take a look and play around with it at all? Is anybody with me? I haven't seen a whole lot of um, movement, and so I'm just making sure. I know some people had to pop out and back in. Okay, do buyers use Etsy app or Safari? Um, well, the Etsy app can be used in any browser. With Safari is a separate browser, so I'm not sure what you mean. Um, buyers, you know, they can shop using a browser and they can shop using the Etsy app. Either way, um, and it should. The thing that changes that are taking place should still show up the same in either spot um, rather than like right now, like with rearrange, when you rearrange your shop, it only shows in a mobile browser that way that you rearranged it, but not in the mobile app, but that should be um, uniform across those now. And then... Um, the mobile, you know, the cover image is mobile responsi responsive. Another thing I want to mention, if you stick with your banner, uh, did I answer that okay? If you stick with your banner and not do a cover image, your banner will still not continue. Oh, that's exciting, Jessica. Your banner will still not show in the app. You know, like right now, our banners don't show in the app. They will not show in the app if that's the way you choose to do it, if you choose not to do a cover photo instead. The cover photo is the only thing that's mobile responsive and will shrink down and, and fit on different mobile views, be it a phone or an iPad or a tablet or whatever someone else is using when they're shopping. Oh, that's one other thing I wanted to say. Our shop icons are really close to the top now. Before, you know, we had our banner and our shop icon was down farther. And so there was a little bit of, yeah, it's exciting, a little enough separation that if they were similar, it was like a good thing because it, it was some cohesiveness with your branding. Now, if they're really similar, I don't think it looks very good. My banner and my my shop icon are very similar because I wanted that those image and that branding to stand out. Um, but I designed my initial cover image to include that same kind of a logo that my banner has right now. And then when I up uploaded it and saw it so close to my shop icon, I did not like them that close together. I just thought it's too repetitive, especially on mobile when then they're stacked. And so it's like I had my logo and my banner right under, or my 
shop icon right underneath and it's like ooh, they're they're just almost identical in some ways so I would encourage you to either make your shop icon a little different or if you want to keep your uh, major branded kind of logo in your cover photo or do the flip-flop I'm actually keeping my shop icon as is and I am designing my cover image to have my tagline in it in the same colors and fonts as my shop icon so it's cohesive but I'm I'm not making it look exactly the same that way I figured too if someone sees my Etsy shop cover image like in Google Images I think that they might be more likely at least with my shop personally to click through seeing my tagline rather than my business name because my business name is kind of generic and I had it you know as my blog name and I chose it as my business name and um, you know I'm not going to change it now but um, I think that my tagline is more uh, attention getting so whatever you think is more attention getting you might want to use for your cover image and then um, even if you just modify your your shop icon um, slightly you know I like I saw somebody who had their whole business name in their cover image and their kind of logo and then for their shop icon they just use like initials or something so you could try some different things and upload them and see how they look together but um, I just didn't like it personally for my shop to have two such similar things in my cover image and my icon because they were so close to each other okay any other thoughts on this so I will go I'm gonna kind of check out what people are um, ranting about or liking or whatever uh, so that I have a little bit more to share tomorrow and I can address some of those things that that are people are chattering about but I just I did want to just mention that um, listings look exactly the same when you click through to a product description there is no change there so don't worry that all of a sudden this is going to impact um, how you show up in search that kind of thing it's pretty much just a visual change um, except for the policies are the one thing that they did say will impact search so I think that's something to pay attention to but um, you know don't worry about your Etsy SEO and all that kind of thing except for the policies chunk with this change all right this is this is not an algorithm change this is really just uh, the way things appear kind of change and I don't think it's perfect there's some things I don't like about it um, but I do think there are some definite improvements over how it is right now and we just work with it we just need to accept that Etsy is always going to be changing and it motivates us to keep on top of things and to not stay stale and um, we can do it so just take a little bit at a time you have about three weeks or so to get it done before everyone else will see it and you can do it there's not a whole ton of things that you have to do um, but you just want to make sure everything looks nice oh that that's that does remind me of one more thing when I was talking about that continuous scroll shop announcement my shop announcement is long I have a lot of frequently asked questions in there and links to my um, yeah I that is that is another thing yeah there's not like the pagination that there was before you have to click load more to get the rest of the listings unless you're clicking on a shop section no you don't have to uh, I don't believe you have to allow returns you just need to mention in what cases you allow them and what the re the um, procedure is for people to make a return so your shop announcement I'm gonna be way shortening mine because what happens if someone is reading your shop announcement and clicks read more um, you know right now it kind of pops out as this smaller box in front of everything and then it's it's easy to figure out how to close it if someone clicks read more in the new format it just stays as that inline scrolling and it's if, if your shop announcement is long and then people have to scroll really far down to get to your listings so I would not recommend having a sh long shop announcement anymore and I believe in the policies the new policies thing that they have set up there's a section for frequently asked questions so I think there's some other places we can move some of that information to and only have the really vital stuff uh, short and sweet in the shop announcement is my recommendation alrighty well come back on tomorrow and we'll talk a little bit more about this and then um, on Friday you can bring any questions you have you're welcome Patrice I love 
I love uh, diving into this stuff when it's new. I spent way too much time doing it. I need to focus on some other things today, but I hope it was helpful to you. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.